Well, howdy, everybody. This is John Michael. It's the fourth Friday of Easter, and today we have this gospel I quote it all the time. I am the way, the truth, the life. See, no one comes to the Father but through me. Well, I've said it before I said it this week, even. All the other great founders and teachers of religions, first of all, in kind of a general called natural revelation, philosophers, religious founders, mystics, they point to the way, the truth, the life. In a special way, there's a revelation of formal revelation in the Old Testament with the Law and the Prophets. But it still is only pointing to the way, the truth, the life. It does it perfectly. The others do it imperfectly, but they do it. And Jesus is, he not only points to the way, the truth, the life, but he is the way, the truth, the life. Like others, he can do nothing of himself. He has humility. He's not proud. He's not arrogant. But he simply is the incarnation of the way, the truth, the life. He is the paradox of paradoxes. He points, he not only points to the truth, he is the truth. He is the reality. Now this includes objective truth, things that are true and false, things that are good and bad, but it also includes that mystical experience that is found only in paradox. A paradox is an apparent contradiction that speaks a deeper truth. Things like finding the great wealth of God in simplicity and poverty. Finding the Word of God in silence. Finding great communion with the whole church universal in solitude. See, Finding great glory in humility and lowliness and even humiliation. It goes on and on, these paradoxes. And Jesus doesn't just teach them. He is them. He is the only one who died on a cross and rose. Nobody else did that. So he is the paradox of finding life in and through death. Find that paradox. Find that fullness. Find that way, that truth, that life that only Jesus can bring. That's my prayer for you guys. I love you. All things are possible with God.